Hey guys, this is Limbix. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my video. And in this video I would like to talk about some news and updates about the Resonance Capital Group. Um, I have very ex exciting news for you. Uh, and uh, before I talk about those news, I would like to tell you what happened already since uh, the last video. I made some promises. If you remember, let's see if uh, Resonance Capital stick to those promises. I will uh, address some of the rumors that are floating around and uh, some of them I can really confirm and I will make also an investment uh, and will get myself a gold package. Alright, so what was done since my last video? If you remember, I have promised new languages and I have promised new payment processors. Well, uh, Resonance Capital promised and delivered. So we got new languages. Uh, so first they have uh, integrated German and French and just two weeks later Spanish and Turkish. So the way they work is really they uh, look at the traffic that is happening. So if new leaders come on board from uh, new countries, they will look at the traffic and see how many people register, is it worth to, to translate or not and then they will just do it. Uh, I'll give you an example. Some big Spanish-speaking leaders joined from South America and from Spain and just two weeks later we had Spanish. So this is really high performance, uh, what I call high performance. Uh, I promised you Bitcoin and Payer, so both payment processors, pr processors are available. Um, so Bitcoin was integrated a week ago and since yesterday you can uh, not only you can replenish your account with bitcoins, you can also make payouts with bitcoins. So they really stick to their promises so far, which uh, I believe is a good sign. So uh, what is coming up next? So the goal of Resonance Capital is uh, adding new languages every second week. So the goal is to add two languages every second week. Um, and I think uh, next on the agenda is Polish, Arabic and some more. I can't remember all of them. And um, I will also talk about the Cyprus office. So there is a lot of rumors uh, floating around that there will be an official office, so basically the commercial center of um, Resonance Capital. And there is um, there are also some people uh, on YouTube claiming that uh, Resonance Capital claimed that they have an office in New York and uh, actually it's not a real office, it's just a legal office. Uh, it's just their attorney sitting there and there is one guy that lives in New York and claims that uh, he, he, he was there and that there were no people. But actually Resonance Capital never claimed that, uh, that this office is staffed. They always said this is a legal office and the real office uh, will be established in Cyprus and I will talk about this one in a few minutes. Uh, so they will also reveal some details that will prove their uh, legality and I have um, a written confirmation from uh, Resonance Capital saying that there will be uh, a real office established uh, and this is uh, that email here. So I basically asked uh, Resonance Capital when and where the office will be uh, because I got some verbal confirmation from Resonance Capital that they will be in they will be in office but now I have it in written here and um, so what they're saying here is so they're shooting for June 17 but uh, obviously it's not easy to keep those uh, those dates so they're shooting for June but they cannot really promise that this will be in June and uh, they kind of use an analogy with a housing project. If you start a housing project you never know when it will be finished, right? Um, and I can really confirm because I, I've gone through this exercise with the house. Um, so um, yeah, and what comes on top here is they need all the regulatory approvals, they need the brokerage uh, license. They need to, they need to d deal a lot with authorities, which is not an easy job, as you might figure. So that's why they're very careful in committing to dates. So June is the goal, but if uh, if uh, if that will really help happen, uh, they 
don't know, but they say latest July, right? Um, but uh, apart from the office, there will be other things that will prove the real activity of the company, right? And they say many other things. So that r that that is really getting exciting, right? So I'm re really excited what those things will be. And um, they also said there will be a kind of opening event and a very specific group of leaders will be invited to join this opening. And what I heard is that they will uh, invite people of the rank top manager and above. But this is yet to be confirmed, right? This is just a verbal statement that uh, is yet to be confirmed. Um, all right, uh, another rumor that is floating around is the connection to Questra, right? And the, in one of my videos, um, I showed you a statement that came from Resonance Capital saying that the same people that designed Questra, Questra 1, not Egam, uh, designed Resonance Capital, right? So one of my partners in my downline uh, send an email to Resonance Capital uh, asking about this connection uh, and if it's if it's real and if they can confirm. So and what they are saying is um, it's not fair to make this comparison. In fact, Agam will soon have big problems. Um, yeah, that's a very strong statement, right? Um, and this is yet to be confirmed. Well, actually. Uh, it's not my style to talk bad about other projects to promote my own. And I'm not really doing it. I'm just quoting uh, people from Resonance Capital. And uh, I'm not saying it's true or not. And um, you make your own conclusions. Uh, you just, uh, I'm just quoting the company. And you just please make your own conclusions, right? So, um, yeah, in the near future, uh, the company aims to get a license for brokerage activities. That's what I mentioned earlier. Um, and yeah, they will have a company's office that will be their commercial uh, center in Europe, and that will be in Cyprus. So the languages that will be added uh, that I tried to summarize are those Czech, Polish, Vietnamese, Chinese, Japanese, Italian, Portuguese, Arabic. Um, yeah, all this is expected in the future. And um, so, and this user, uh, Michael, so he didn't want to get uh, Resonance Capital away with the statement on Questra. So that's why he said, what's the deal with Questra? Tell me more. Um, so, and that's what they did. They said, so he basically asked, uh, what are, what do you know about those problems? Tell me more. So why would you think that uh, Agam will have problems? So the answer was uh, they have 100% inside information. That's the first thing. The second thing, there are problems already and they are quite global. Many people are not paid. Many accounts are blocked. So we see a lot of strong messages here. Um, and that's enormous. That's huge right? And I'm not here to confirm it. I'm just quoting the company. I don't know if this is true. I don't know any person that claims that he's not being paid by Egam, and I didn't see any big noise on forums with people claiming that they are not being paid. Until I see this, I will not claim this is all true, but they seem to have some insider information. So there are many aspects into, you can really read a lot into this. So first of all, well, that's uh, pretty aggressive, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, uh, and uh, is it really ethical to uh, make bad PR about the competition to promote uh, your own business? <laughs> Probably not. But if it's true, hmm, I don't know. Uh, I will not argue either way. I'll let you judge, make your own conclusions. Uh, but uh, another aspect of this one is, so they seem to be really aggressive. They really want to go against Agam and they really want to become better. So, uh, and that I would see really on the positive side, right? And there is also an, an another aspect and uh, I'm just, uh, 
uh, I'm just thinking out loud, right? Don't quote me on this one. It's just my own opinion, uh, or just not really my opinion, just one potential option, right? Maybe those are the same people, same people that are behind Egam are the same people that are behind Resonance Capital. And let's say if Egam is about to go down, really, if, uh, if the business slows down uh, and if they have to close soon, they really want to make sure that the new project is really up to speed, right? So they don't lose any, any profits. So if, uh, if, if Questra is gone, they have no income, right? So that's why they want to make sure the new company is up and running pretty soon. And again, th this is just one potential option. I'm just thinking out loud, but you guys, please make your own conclusions. All right. Well, uh, we have more and more people joining. Um, so um, from uh, all over the world, and uh, I have one partner from the Dominican Republic that is really starting promoting the project in, uh, in Spanish and he is really in the zone. He is really making good promotions. We have Arabic people joining, uh, promoting the project in uh, Arabic language. So um, I would say Resonance Capital really becomes global, uh, which makes it more interesting, right? Because only if you have a global footprint, you can have a stable business. Uh, if one region goes bad, the other region is, uh, is, is able to compensate, right? And get the project out of the ditch. So, yeah, it's, uh, there are some really, some really positive um, uh, developments. All right. Um, yeah, marketing material. Uh, this is an interesting aspect. So... Um, I just received brochures uh, in English language from Resonance Capital, and you can have a look. I will just flip through a couple of pages, All right? So this is the official brochure that you can order. If you become, um, well, if you are verified and you have an investment of at least five hundred dollar, you can order those brochures. You can order banners, uh, and I can also show show you the roll-up banner. So that's the roll-up banner. Uh, you will also have a kind of brand wall that you can order, this one. Uh, and um, if, you, uh, if you are at least top manager, you can open up your own regional office and the company will support you with that. So they will send you all the materials. They will support you financially even. So uh, yeah, if you are interested, you have the possibility to do that. But so far, all those materials are available in English only. Uh, and uh, if, uh, if you get more, if they get more languages tr translated, I will, uh, I will let you know. Okay, so, yeah, if I look at all of this, um, I believe this is some real positive development that I see here and also those aggressive news that I just uh, quoted. Uh, I see it more on, uh, on the positive side, right? So I don't consider this being a negative thing, um, comparing with Agam and, and all those things. Um, so that's why I decided to, uh, to buy myself a gold package to uh, express my trust to the company and that I will do right away. Uh, as you can see, I just uh, became a top manager. So to become a top manager, you have to have $20,000 of uh, turnover in your structure. So, uh, and that's what I achieved just today. And I received a bonus of $1,000 um, that I will invest, reinvest in the uh, into, into the company and I will buy myself a gold package, which is uh, which is from $2,500 up to $5,500. So I will go for $2,500 and I will just hit buy. So this will get me uh, $87.50 a week. Um, and uh, yeah, I can buy four of those. So, and that's what I will do right now. 
I will click on buy right and I will just confirm it with pay so that takes a while all right so what you will see here is I got my gold package uh, and I also got a hundred dollar bonus on my test account and those fundings that were blocked on the test account those 50 bucks that I received for buying the silver package I can now unlock and um, have to pay out so those 56 dollar I can withdraw okay well that's basically it that's all I had to share with you um, so yeah, if you decide to sign up, please use the link down below, below the video. Join the Telegram chat. So I have two chats, one in English and one in German. And if you have questions or need support, you can get it right away. Uh, there are always people online at any time. Uh, so yeah, see you in the Telegram chat, guys. Bye.